Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that you will be joining me live this evening. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, August 10th. Hello, Roxanne. Hello, Renee. I am sorry that I'm late, but um, there was another school board meeting this evening. So um, it's like a it's like a soap opera at this point. I don't want to I don't want to miss it. So um, it's still going. It will probably still be going until midnight tonight. But um, <clears throat> I sit on on them with Rob to support him and to listen to the ruckus because everyone's an expert right now. You know. Um, hello, Roxanne. Hello, Renee. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Donna. Hello, Michelle. Uh, oh, it's going so fast. Hello, Jen. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Penny. Hello, Laurie. Um, hello, my Rose. Hello, my love. Hello, Dee Dee. Hello, Katina. Hello, Pamela. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Seaster. Hello, Sherry. Hello, Sherry, J Sherry D and Sherry J. Hello. Oh, isn't it beautiful, Sherry? So, hello, everyone. I'm super excited to be here with you all this evening, and I appreciate you all coming to hang out with me on this Monday night. Um, I'm here to show you some new products that launched this weekend, and um, a couple of them that I'm kind of sad about. Actually, most of them I'm sad about because, uh, hello, Ryan, because these are items that uh, are from our dear friends at Dries in Ohio. Um, and the problem, hi, Ekis. Uh, and unfortunately, they're going bye-bye. Um, from what I'm understanding, September 1st is it. That's the last time that we can order from them. So don't worry. I've ordered uh, I, what I would think is plenty, uh, but I've ordered also some of my absolute favorites that I hope will be your favorites as well. And um, I can tell you that quite a few of them are already gone over this weekend. But I want to give you a closer look and tell you why I chose them for Brutus Monroe. Um, as most of you know, obviously Brutus Monroe is its own brand. Uh, but I do bring in some of my favorite things across other brands as well, just because I love them. And the thing is, it's it's silly to, uh, in my opinion, uh, to try to reinvent the wheel when someone else has already done something really well. Let's buy that <laughs> and let's talk about that uh, as opposed to trying to do it ourselves. So, yes, Sherry, they are. The uh, Reichels purchased them and, um, yeah, decided to close them. Bought them a while ago. All right. So let's get started, shall we? So the first items are, we'll talk about the embossing folders, okay? Let's talk about those first because I'm really excited about them. And I'm going to try to demo the embossing folders for you. I'm not sure that it's going to work uh, just for the simple fact that um, I tried the embossing folders previously, but I had an issue with them because uh, I still can't figure out how to get my uh, platinum machine to do an embossing folder. Uh, but again, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I think I'll be, uh, hopefully we'll be able to figure it out. So the very first one that we have, and these are all ones that I chose because they are ones that I would absolutely use. The first one is called Single Rose. Oh my goodness, is it so pretty. So of course the way that Doris does their embossing folders now is up in the corner. Uh, let's see here. See that there? It's just so, so nice. So, so nice. Hello, Simon. See that there? It's just so, 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 so nice. And again, uh, with the, oh, well, these ones are mine, so I can open them. So um, it makes it a little confusing because they put this in the background, which kind of confuses you to think that it's on here which it's not, but what I like about this is you can actually cut out this piece. This is how I store mine. Is I cut this piece out and put this piece on the front, and then I know what that looks like, because there's no print on these other than the, the Doris, but it's just, so that's what it will look like when you emboss it, and I just think that's so nice. So, so, so nice. So that is the first one, and that is called 
single rows. Okay, so that's number one. Then this one is one um, that I am really excited about because I designed a stencil this year that falls in line with this. I'm not exactly the same thing, but similar. Um, and this is, of course, the Graduate Silhouette is the name of this one. So Graduate Silhouette, again, when you remove this backer piece, this is what it's going to look like whenever it's actually embossed. And um, I think it's super cool. I love it. This is what it looks like up in the corner. Beauty Guru. Hello, Kelly. Hold on. Beauty Guru, Beauty Guru. There we go. Love it. Love it, love it. All right. And this one, super excited uh, for the holidays. And I know most of you are excited like I am. And this one is called Poinsettia, or Poinsettia, depending on where you're from. Oh, and I love this one. I think that if we did this one with like a foil, oh, how rich and luscious it would be um, with like the prism paper. Oh my goodness, would this just be so pretty if you put it on the, uh, the prism paper. Oh, I just, I love it so much. So that one is poinsettia. And I'm, again, I am going to try, hi, Carolyn. I am going to try, hello, Shannon, to uh, emboss these with the Bruce or embossing paper or Bruce or cardstock card stock tonight. Then this one is Heather Collins' favorite. And she hasn't even seen it yet, but I know this is going to be her favorite. And this is called Celestial Pattern. And I really, really wanted to bring this to the collection. Um, oh, sorry. Wait, I forgot to do this with this one. Hold on. This is what the poinsettia looks like. So pretty. I forgot to bring, uh, uh, excuse me, I really wanted this one because there's nothing like this that even remotely I've ever seen uh, that looks like this kind of celestial, you know. Um, constellations. I just think it's so cool. So, so cool. So that is called Celestial Pattern, and this is what it looks like. So cool. Hi, Georgia. Then, oh, we're still got quite a few. Right, Lynn. That one, I think that I've saved that one for last. I did. Well, no. Yep, last. Uh, then we have this one that I couldn't, uh, I just couldn't say no to, uh, because I love, uh, the idea of cutting it out and this is the large butterfly. So that's what that one looks like. It's just so detailed and so pretty. I just love embossing folders. I really do. So there's the butterfly. Then this one I just had to have for us because again, I don't know that we've ever had one that's really, really in, uh, different like this. And this is called scattered alphabet. And I just, I don't know, there's just something about it that spoke to me. I just think it's so cool. And this is what that one looks like. So it has like the ampersand. It has all sorts of different uh, things other than just the alphabet. And then this is what the butterfly looks like. I should have showed you it up close. Okay. Okay. All right, I love that one. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess it does look kind of Tim Holtzy. It does. It does. Ah, uh, these are from Greece, yes. And I ordered up, I think, all that they had. <laughs> because, again, they are going bye-bye, unfortunately. They are going bye-bye. Um, then I had to have this one, because you all know how much I love my Halloween. Uh, so this one, there we go. Oh, I just love it so much. You hear Minnie in the other room. So this is called Web Pattern. Just so, so cool. I love it. I love it so much. It also kind of reminds me of a Pitzel. Has anybody ever had a Pitzel out there? My grandma used to make the best Pitzels. That's what that kind of reminds me of as well. Then I ordered the most of these ones because my mama and my grandma loved hummingbirds. And as soon as I saw this, I had to, had to, to bring it in. And it's just called Hummingbird. 
and you can see there what it looks like. It's just so beautiful. I imagine using this with the dies that were in the magical mouse box. Those, um, the um, flower dies and like adding them around. Uh, but I just think it's so, so pretty. So that's what it will look like when it's embossed. I love the cells. And yes, this one's called Hummingbird. And then we have, so this one, it's called Broken Mirror. And this one, I just wish I could find, I know I had a bunch of prism paper somewhere. I'm gonna have to look a little harder off camera, but uh, the prism paper would be so cool with this. And again, I have a whole pile of paper here that I really need to go through, but it would be so cool. Oh, I can't wait to see Rose. So that is what it looks like in small form, big form. And it's called Broken Mirror. So, so cool. And then last but certainly not least, this is the one that is already on SOS, which is sellout status. And I have a feeling, um, I have a feeling this one is going to be gone, gone, gone very, very quick. And it is called Peacock. And again, I had to have a look at how intricate and beautiful that embossing, um, embossing folder is. Oh my goodness, just so beautiful. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it would be embossed. It's just so pretty. So pretty. So gorgeous. Okay, so that's that. And then we're going to emboss, I think, a couple of them. Depending on, um, excuse me, depending on, um, hello, Chris. Oh my goodness, the, sh the broken mirror is already gone. Oh my goodness. I hope I can get more of them. All right. And then we have four brand new dies. And I'm so sad, again, that they are closing or that they are going out of business because they've changed the way that they do their die packaging. And I love it so much. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Uh, I love it so much. So it's sad. but And this is not the new packaging. <laughs> this one is not the new packaging, but there is uh, new packaging for the other three. Here we are. So this is the die, they call them die cut and embossing stencils. I don't know why they call them stencils, but I love this one so much. And it is called uh, Pa Prince Love Home. Say that three times fast. So the one thing that I love about these so much, and again, these are mine, so I'm gonna open them. I got a couple for myself today. Can you blame me? Can you, bl can you blame me for one second? Uh, so, the one thing that I love about the Drees dies, and this is something I've always loved about them, is that they come with a magnet. Did you know this about them? They come with a magnet inside. And a cutting guide. Best thing, I mean, these are just the best investment ever. So they come with this magnet sheet inside. What I do is I throw that away, and I keep the magnet sheet. And I put these in my Brutus Monroe, my Brutus Monroe um, sleeves. Okay. Makes it so simple and so easy. Love that it comes with that. Okay, so the different dies that we have, and again, I'm probably gonna cut some of these out. So this is a paw print with of course a heart around it. Hello, Gilly. I love it, I love it. Then we have home with a little paw print in the center. It's only backwards. <laughs> That's good, Candy. That is good. Yeah, these are really, really thick magnets. Really thick. And then we have love with the paw print in the center. Then last but not least, I think this is my favorite because it's going to make great uh, paw prints like on the side of a card. And that's like a row of paw prints. Hello, Tracy. Love it. Love it, love it. So there is that one. 
put that to the side for a moment. Right? It would, Candy. So this is the new packaging, and I love it because it has examples on it. Whoopsies. All right. So first and foremost, we have... What is this one called? Oh my goodness, look at this new packaging. Oh, I wish they weren't going out of business. Look at this packaging, I love it so much. Okay, so um, it's still a layered die cut and embossing stencils. Don't know, I mean, maybe it's cheaper to import them if they call them that. <laughs> and that's just, that's the, the honest to goodness truth, I, I don't know. Um, so they show you an example on the back and I love this, love, love, love. This one. I feel like I'm going to probably use this one the most. Well, I don't know, though, because this these next three, it's a toss-up. I think these next three uh, that I'm going to show you are a toss-up. All right. So, what comes in this one? So, you are going to receive Santa. Well, let me take the... Hold on. This makes it easier. Let's take the magnet out, shall we? All right, so you are going to receive Santa and his tiny reindeer. Yes, Chris. I love that, too. Then you are going to receive a village. So first you receive this little nondescript house, and I'm going to show you a really cool way to light this little house up, which I think is super going to be super, super cool. Hello, Dion. Hello, my friend. Okay, and then you sure can. You sure can, Carolyn. That's something I think maybe I'll show you guys one day. And then you're going to receive this much longer, much longer silhouette with the little church. And I think, hold on, how do these go? They go upside down or something. I should probably look at the packaging. I know they went like a weird... Weird way. Okay. And then some snow. Okay. There's some snow there. Let's see how we can fit this one. I think we can fit that. There we go. And then last but not least, I love, love, love. Me too, Shannon, that you are going to receive these little layering pieces to put over the windows. And again, we'll, we'll, maybe this is one that we'll do. And then look at these little stars. I just love these little stars. I love these little stars so much. It's just the perfect, just absolutely perfect. Okay, so there is that set. All right, and then this next set. Uh, um, right, Carolyn? I thought I read that some Drew's products will be private labeled for... Uh, for who? Um, Jerry's already does some private label products. So I'm curious to see for who. Okay. Love this. The red truck is just, I mean, we've all seen the red truck. We all love the red truck. Um, just, uh, just love, 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 love the red truck. I think all of y'all love the red truck as well. But what I really love about this red truck in particular, and I'll show you once I pull this out, is that this red truck can be layered. So this red truck is made to be layered. All right, so let me show you what that means. So... Let me show you. Pull this out first. Thank you, Carolyn. Five dollars to five dollars to the um, to the Trevor Project. Woohoo! Okay. The company we don't oh, the company we don't name. Reichels? I mean, they already do private label for Reichels, so I think that's kind of why they um I think that's kind of why they uh they switched everything over. Okay, 
So the way that this works is uh, the truck obviously has multiple pieces that will uh, pop up on top of one another, if that makes sense. So uh, you have the regular truck piece, obviously. And then if you do emboss it, you will see that you have these little pieces. I know, Robin, that's my favorite part. So there's that. Then there's, of course, the Christmas tree. Or if it's if you're not uh, a celebrator of Christmas, it doesn't have to be a Christmas tree. It could just be a tree in the back of a red truck. Uh, and then you're going to have these, and I have no idea what these pieces are called. Hopefully someone can assist me. The, the wheel, the, the wheel guard. <laughs> Did I do all right? The wheel guard. Uh, it comes with both of those. Okay. It comes with the window. Okay. I think I am going to make one, Dion. I think this is going to be the first one that I make. Uh, and then for some reason, and I actually really like this, it comes with two hubcaps and the two hubcap centers. I don't know why. Fender? Is that what this part is? The part that goes over the wheel? No, I know what a fender is. Is that is that called a fender? I thought a fender was like the back pieces, like a fender bender. These are the pieces that go over the wheels. Maybe that is what they're called. All right, so these are the two pieces for this. Hi, Ma hi, Maria. Thank you for your email today, my love. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to respond to you. It was a wild day, but I appreciate your good, uh, your prayers and good thoughts. These are bumpers. This piece that goes, oh, so wait. So this is a fender? This part's a fender? Yeah, I am going to make this one tonight. This is the one I think I'm going to make first. Oh, you can do whatever color truck you want. Okay, that, so the, you get the fenders, everyone. Like I said, the fenders. <laughs> and then I think that this one, it did, Maria. Delayed until Wednesday, because unfortunately the seller just can't seem to get his SHIT together. Uh, but the buyers have theirs together. <laughs> so it's been extended to Wednesday, but um, everything should be should be just fine after that. Wheel well, I thought that's what I wanted to say, but I was like, mm, I don't know. Wheel well, see, that's what I thought. Oh, I was going to say wheel well, but I thought it was going to sound crazy. So maybe that is. So I think that this one, I think that this one is going to be, um, I'm almost 100% certain that this one is going to be the um, uh, preview of the inspiration kit. Um, I'm thinking Monday, Laura. We're waiting on the dies. That's all we're waiting on. I think this one's going to be, if I know my Carolyn, this is going to be her favorite. And now, I don't know. I might not know her. Um, I might not know her that well. Uh, but I think that this is going to be Carolyn's favorite, and that is Build a Snowman. So um, Carolyn has made me lots of beautiful things that have snowmen on them. So I don't know if this will be her favorite, but I feel like this is going to be, uh, she's going to really, really like this one. And that's Carolyn Adderman, who is here with us this evening. Do you have yeah right? And that's what I know, Carolyn. All right, so look at all the pieces this one comes with, and this is a really good set for you, Carolyn, because I know that you, uh, I know that you like to uh, emboss the pieces, and these ones have a lot of really good uh, embossable pieces. So first and foremost, we have of course the body. Love, love, love the body. Uh, of the snowman, and it has a little smile on the face. Now, of course, remember that if you cut this out and you want to just draw the face on, you can. You don't have to deal with... Thanks, Jerry. I was excited. I hope I picked out ones that you really like. Um, so there you go. Well, Santa comes on Christmas, though, right? Is that right? Doesn't Santa come on Christmas? I thought he did. No? Wait. You just had me second thinking myself. Yes, Santa comes on Christmas. Okay, so this is the uh, so this is the snowman, the snowman base, the body, so to speak. 
Then we have, of course, the top hat, which I, I mean, I mean, you can't, I mean, can't get enough of this top hat. And again, you can color in this piece right here, right? You can color in that piece, so you don't have to emboss it if you don't want to. Uh, then we have the scarf. And if you don't want to emboss these pieces, you can make a very simple snowman. Say that three times fast. Very simple snowman. It will not, uh, it will not, um, will not harm anyone. Okay, so there you go. Will not harm anyone to not emboss that. Then we have a Santa hat. Love this. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. Love it. I love snow folks. I love that. Dion, snow folks. I love that. That's fantastic. Then, of course, you have the arms. Then we have the arms. I love, I can't wait to make, I think I might make a whole bunch of these. I brought home some glitter stock for these. Then we have another hat, but this is like a little tassel cap. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh, I love it. I'm talking and then we're coming against. Well, yeah, because my my I, uh, my ADD kicks in and I'm trying to I'm trying to pay attention. Look at this little bird. Oh, I love this little bird. Uh, then we have, of course, a bow tie because I mean, duh, duh, love that. Uh, then we have, of course, the little carrot nose. Now, he had a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Wait a second. If you sing Frosty the Snowman, to Frosty the Snowman, the corn cob pipe and a button nose. So where the heck did the, so where the heck did the, um, Where did the carrot come from? <laughs> oh, that's a great idea, Deneen. Oh, and then these are the um, buttons. We're going to have to rewrite the song. Hmm. All right, so I need... Hold on, where am I? Where did I put my sleeves at? I had a bajillion, which is half of a gazillion, sleeves around here somewhere, but now I don't, oh well, I don't need them right now anywhere. Um, this is a brand new die, yes, brand spanking new. I think we might be the first ones to have it. You should, listen, Carolyn, don't threaten me with a good time. You can bring your, ha, you can bring your guitar anytime. See, Robin, I know, but where the heck did we come, where did the care come from? All right, so we're going to do this guy first. All right, so let me move these pieces out of the way, and let's get some paper. So let's talk about the paper selection, shall we? Oh, true, Rose. Very true. Oh. Well, there we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, so let's pick out some paper, shall we? So for the truck, I'm thinking, I know, aren't they pretty, Janine? So I don't know, because I have a couple of reds and some red adjacent. Let's see. Let's see. So let's see here. So those are the, our red choices. Then for our greens, let's take a look. So we have two different greens I brought home. And then for the hubcaps, um, maybe we'll just use black. I don't know. Or we could use gray. We could use gray and white. Okay. So hello, Kim. Or we could do some glitter stock. Well, oh, maybe we'll do some glitter stock. Um, all right, so I'm thinking for the truck to make it look kind of rustic, we're not going to use this bright red. So this is the new, oh no, this isn't the new red. This is um, scarlet. We're not going to use scarlet. 
but we are going to use instead Marsala, or no, not Marsala, Terracotta. So we're using Terracotta as our base. Then we're going to use Wagon as like the wheel, whatever these are called, fenders, the fenders. And then for our tree, mm, I'm thinking, I really think I want to use Jurassic. So this is, this is, um, what color is this? Don't tell me it'll come to me. Don't tell me. What color is this one? <laughs> so this one is Jurassic. What is this one called? Hmm. Cabbage. Da -da -da, cabbage. Okay. Thank goodness. And then I think for... So I think for the fenders, see that fenders, or not fenders for the cup caps, we will use some because I mean why not shining shimmery splendid. Uh, we'll use some of the charcoal glitter stock, and then I think we'll add a little bit of a little bit of beauty on the tips of the tree by using some fallen snow. This was just restocked. I don't know if y'all know about the fallen snow, but this is the fallen snow glitter stock. Oh my goodness. Do I love it so much? Okay, fallen snow glitter stock. So I think this is, okay, so let's get, let's just give it a whirl and see what we can do. So let's cut down some pieces real quick. Because obviously we don't have to use the whole piece. We can keep these pieces whole. But these ones we're going to cut down. All right. Is everybody having a good day so far? Well, I guess the day is kind of over. Right? Christopher, Christopher, get it together. Day's over. All right. So let's see what we can get ourselves into here. So let's start with, let's start with the truck. I'm going to cut out two of these because why not? I mean, let's do two at the same time, right? Two birds, one stone. Uh, it's going well, Shannon. It was delayed today because the seller, um, this, let me just tell y'all, let me pour, let me pour my, uh, let me pour my my troubles out to y'all for just a second. Um, not that y'all want to hear my troubles, but um, the seller of our beautiful new house, a beautiful, beautiful new house that I can't wait for us to have the keys for, um, is just not super, super prepared and hasn't been prepared this whole process. So basically this entire process, we've just been waiting for him to get it together. And today was supposed to be our closing. And... Um, uh, our, uh, as we were doing our final walkthrough, our realtor, she's wonderful. She's the best thing ever. Uh, she was coming up to the house and we could tell she was on the phone with someone assuming, you know, our, the closing company and all that jazz. And, um, there was another piece of paperwork that he did not get done. So, Huh. So yeah, so it's um, so it's now delayed until Wednesday. Well, they said twenty four to forty eight hours, so we'll know more tomorrow. We will know more hopefully tomorrow. Okay, so there's the beginning of the truck. So let's place these little pieces over here. I love paper piecing dies. I just do did dolls mushroom hustle. Oh, Dion, I love that. Love that. All right, so let's put this piece over to the side so we know because we know that we've already used it. All right, and then pop our scrap paper over there. So now let's do our then. Okay, so what is that? A wheel? What is this piece? Everyone. Whatever these pieces are. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just uh, we're just waiting at this point. We're in a holding pattern again. A holding pattern again. That's what I thought. I thought one was in the front. Was maybe not. 
We have to do some Googling. Wheel well. Is that what it, do we decide that's what it's called? The wheel well? Fender Flare. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Shannon. We do appreciate that. We do. All right, so we'll pop one piece out. Oh, I think that's going to be perfect. This is going to get like a different type of... Um, a different type of wear. Oh my goodness. That's craziness. Christopher, just grab your scissors. Okay. That's what I'd be saying to myself. If you all are watching me later, but Christopher, grab your scissors. Quit bouncing that thing around. Yeah, glad he's okay. Yeah, my goodness. Okay, so we are going to... I do want to... Oh, my goodness, I must drop that. On the phone. That's crazy. Right? Yeah, Chicago can't get a break these days, can they? Can y'all? All right. Whoopsies. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's hope that the closing goes well on Wednesday because the following Monday, uh, the people are coming to redo all of the hardwood floors. <laughs> so, figures triple crossed. All right. So we're going to pop out. We're going to put two, put multiples together. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, it's windy in Chicago to begin with. All right. So now, oh, scraps over here. Let's do our trees. And we're going to do... Uh, all right. So we're going to do the trees, but we're also going to cut the trees out of... And I'll show you a little trick. We're also going to cut the trees out of that falling snow. All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this die is now on SOS status. So thank you all so much. I'm going to go on to the... I'm going to go on to the Dries, um, our Talk to our... Talk to our sales rep tomorrow and see if we can get a couple more of these. I mean, I thought they'd last till at least the holidays. <laughs> I uh, At least the holidays, I thought they would... Um, um, last us, but I guess not. I know I can't wait. I can't wait. So I started watching this is completely off subject. I don't know what made me just think about this. Uh, so I started rewatching the X Men last night. Anybody into the X Men series? Anyone? No. Yes. No. Um, so I'm watching them in chronological order. That's my new thing. And oh my goodness, it was so funny. So last so Rob could sleep through a hurricane. And last night there was this part in the so Minnie Monroe, Minnie, um, our little Minnie Monroe miniature pincher. She is obsessed with watching TV. Hi, Rose. She is obsessed with watching TV. I don't know what it is, but there, apparently there's a lot of miniature pictures that love watching TV. Well, Benson James, who is uh, our, our sheet zoo, he also loves watching TV. And they compete with each other to see who can get closer to the TV. And last night, it was so funny because... I don't know if they can understand like the excitement that's coming up with the show uh, or with the movie, but they're both laying in bed watching it, and Rob is sound asleep. Sound asleep. And um, all of a sudden, something happens. And I, the one I watched last night was um, X-Men First Class. So 
Uh, it was it's like the very first one because you know I had to Google like what order I had to watch them in, and um, so I was watching the X Men First Class, and oh my goodness! So all of a sudden something happened, and it was like real. I don't know. It wasn't really like loud, but it was like startling, like a flash of light. And both dogs jumped 50 feet in the air, at least 50 feet in the air. And sorry, I'm grabbing a piece of whitewash for um, this is our uh, newer cardstock color. It's called Whitewash. It has like these little flecks in it. Oh, that's like a perfect way to show you how beautiful it is. Um, so they fly up and Rob, <laughs> Rob, I, this is terrible. This is terrible. Rob flies out of bed and, like, literally is at full alert thinking that, like, we're under attack. Oh, my goodness. It was just... They are like human siblings, but they fight over who gets closer to the TV. So, they actually, they are like human siblings. Um, but, oh, my goodness, it was so funny. It was hilarious. I mean, he flew out of bed, like at full attention. He like thought, I think he thought that like we were like starting, to, like WW2 was starting over or something. I don't know. He like hit the decks. Oh my goodness. I said, I can't with you today. I cannot with you today. Okay. So let me go ahead and put that there. Oh wait, I'm going to have to do another window. So why do they call it a fender bender? Do people hit that part? Is that why they call it a fender bender? I mean, I've never, when I was in a quote unquote fender bender, I never, it was entertainment for me. I used to try to scare him all the time. I don't scare him anymore because I'm afraid that he'll just pass right out, fall down the stairs or something. I used to scare him. That was my favorite pastime. Um, Wheel arch. I was going to say, because the why do they call it a fender bender then? I mean, I guess we'll never know. I'm going to have to ask whoever started it. The people like, I mean, I thought it, like a fender bender was because it was like the front part of your car. I don't know. Oh, minimal damage. Okay. Got it. I just didn't know why they called it that. All right. Oh, this car stock's good. When you hear it like, when it sounds like a, like an ice cube falling down, I don't know if that's going to make sense to anybody. It probably, I probably sound crazy. But it, um, when that, when it falls off like that and it sounds like it's like a, it's like a crisp sound, you know, that's a good, that is a good piece of card stock. Some of you know what I'm talking about. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm doing my research. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna. I'm going to do it just like a. I'm gonna have a. Um, a full site log of where I found my information. <laughs> right. So there are our hubcaps. I know that that's right. What did, I don't know. What did Carolyn say? Oh, yeah, you knew. You knew that you were starting something with, with her. Maybe she didn't see you. Maybe she went to get us. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I don't understand why half the terms we say. Oh, no, she's here. She's, 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 maybe she, I don't know. She's here. She was, she was loud and clear earlier. All right. Okay. So let's pop all of our pieces back onto the magnetic sheet. <laughs> Dion, how are you going to call me out like that? We, first of all, first of all, no one had to know. <laughs> Dion, Dion just literally, she just blew my cover. It is. <laughs> I am mis mix matching. I um, I use whatever plate gets the job done, <laughs> or whatever plate I can find. She just blew my cover. Did you see that? She said, she said, excuse me, 
Don't think you're don't think you're fooling me with that cuddlebug plate. It is. It sure is. Well, well, the jig is up. <laughs> the jig is up. You got me. Okay. So there's all those pieces back on there. So let's put them back together. The one that's the closest, right? Did you see that? She got me when I was when I when I least expected it. She got me. My goodness. I like it. It's good. You keep me young. <laughs> you keep me young. Zing pow, right? She got me. All right, so we're going to use some GMIT K adhesive because I love it so much. And let's see here. So we'll put the wheels on first. I use my, I literally, I can't tell you the last time I used the right plate or the right, you know. I use the I use the plates all the time because it's the same thing. It really is. She got me. When I least expected it. Oh my goodness, look at those. I guess those are the wheels. Yeah, they're not the hubcaps, they're the wheels. But I love that I made them glittery. They do, but we're, we had an issue with uh, uh, okay. Oh, I love it so far. I mean, all it has is the wheels on it, but how fun is that? Oh, I love it so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so let's move these pieces. I know the the. I swear to you, Dion, the Cuddlebug is the best die cutting machine that ever they ever came out with. And I will say that over and over and over again. No matter what they come out with, it's the best. And I know that they retired it, and I hope they come back with it at some point. But they kind of like stopped um, servicing it and like making pieces and stuff. It's the best. I think it's the best, best that they had ever come out with. Okay. So this one, let me see here. Okay. So this one's the back one, according to, yep. Best ever. And of course, if you wanted to, you could go in and you could absolutely um, pop these up instead. I just love that it's just the right amount, and it's not going to be easy to see from home, but you see it's just the right amount of color difference. Yeah, best paper trimmer I ever had. It's like their accessory. I mean, the, the crickets are good. I mean, but I mean, yeah, they're, they're a cutting machine. But I... um. By far, I will always say that the best, their uh, accessories have always been my favorite. Best accessories. Oh my goodness, do I love that so much. Hmm. Oh, me too. Me too, Candy. All right. I'm going to pop this guy on here. So anyway, so I will be watching. I think it's X-Men Days of Future Past or something is the one tonight. So I'm going to watch it every night. That's my goal. Every night. Oh, my goodness. Crank on ending event. I know that I've been. I didn't mean to ignore what everyone was saying, but I saw that y'all were talking about it. Wait until you see the class materials. I got a sneak peek of everything. Everything at the same, everything in one place today, and oh my goodness gracious, are y'all going to be excited. Oh no, I didn't cut out enough hubcaps. Well, looks like we're only doing two. It's okay. It was my first one too. It was. Oh my gosh, look at those little. It's so much. 
All right, so now let's put our little window on. Oh, that could not be more perfect. You could even, if you wanted to, take this die and pop it on top of here and cut out the window if you wanted to. Just thought about that. Okay. All right. Oh, I love that. All right. So, yes, they did, a, they did such a good job today. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this kind of weeble wobbly. Because we want it to look like snow. All right, so we're going to take this and run our adhesive across stitch. All right. It's going to be so much fun. We have so many surprises. <laughs> so many surprises. And then look at that. The perfect amount of snow on the top of our little... And then you could do it this way, too. So if you wanted to... You could cut it like this. The opposite way. And have the snow at the bottom. Like how it like laid on the truck bed. It's completely up to you. I'm gonna show you kind of both ways. So you could do it like that or like this. So see how that goes in the back of the truck? That's just not the cutest thing you ever did see. Um, so, Candy, everyone actually got the schedule. I know it was a while ago, but everyone got the schedule um, at the very beginning. But I heard Michael say today that um, he's going to be resetting it. So, um, weebly wobbly. <laughs> well, welcome, Dion. Come back again. Come hang out with us again. So that I just love that. So let me put these away because I do want to do. I do want to do an embossing real quick to show you that. All right. So what do I want to emboss? Hold on. Let me put all these dies together because I don't want them to go all over the place before I get my pieces here. All right. So let's see here. So first, let's do this. I mean, let's just get right into it because I just think this is going to be so cool. So this is a piece of the um, sequin sheet. So let's see here. It's Friday. Uh, you, you are. You sure are. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, most of the time, everyone, I think, wore their shirt on Saturday last year because we took a picture. All right, so let's do let's do the broken glass one with this because I just think it'll be so cool. All right, let's see. Broken glass. Oh, I love them so much. Wait till you see the... Oh, thank you, Dion. Wait until you see... Uh... Wait until you see the new colors. Coming very soon. Very, very soon. All right, so this is what Spellbinders tells me I'm supposed to do, so I'm just going to listen to them. We'll see if it works. They, I think they might... Well, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you the date because I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to lead you astray. All right. So let's see. Is Spellbinders correct? No, they are not correct. They said that all you need. So this is. So let me tell you something. Let me tell you this. 
this is a lie. So let me show you what this platform says. And maybe I'm reading it wrong. How to build a single or double-sided embossing folder sandwich. Standard cutting plate. Single or double-sided embossing folder with paper inside. Platform. It says that's all you need. Right? I know that's... I mean, my goodness gracious. Unless that's just not the right... I mean... Yeah, it's not enough. Rose, that's okay. Listen, did it work? Did it work? That's that is resourceful. Yeah, so I don't know. Does anybody else have the platinum six and has had success with embossing? What am I doing wrong? Can someone help me? Can anybody out there help me? Because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Because according to the platform, all I need is that. And I'll tell you, it's not right. Rubber mat. See, but I thought, thought that the rubber mat was for... See, now this is giving it a little bit more pressure. The rubber mat is, um, I thought the rubber mat was for embossing through a die. Because, see, it doesn't tell you. So, see, this is how to emboss. So, this is how to emboss a cut shape. Embossing plate, tan embossing mat, cut paper, and platform. Use both plates. Oh, my lanta. All right. Oh, wait, it worked. Well, it worked just with that. Um, it worked with that, putting that extra in it. Look at that. Oh, my goodness, that's so cool. There we go. We had to get it to focus. Wow. That's really cool. I do have it, but wait a second. Stop everything. So let's look at this together because maybe I'm, maybe I'm cuckoo. Hello, mayhem. So look it. So this is, I'm going to have to call them up and say, excuse me, spellbinders. So it says how to build a single or double sided emboss. See, I don't know if it's because they're embossing. See, the thing is, it shouldn't be gone already. Let me look. It shouldn't be gone already. Let me see here. <laughs> Let's see. I did get you. Yeah, but I got you the Fun Stampers Journey one, Heather. I got you the Fun Sippers Journey one. Let me see here. No, it shouldn't be. It's not sold out. Let's see here. Hold on one second. I fixed it. It's not really sold out. It's just not really sold out. I fixed it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because... See, because it's so weird because... It literally says how to build a single or double-sided embossing folder sandwich. I don't know. I'm going to have to watch Jennifer McGuire, but I don't think she really uses embossing folders. Does she? Huh. Okay. No, it's not 3D. Platform folder blue plate. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to bring that blue plate home. I probably have the blue plate home here somewhere. But yeah, it's not a 3D folder. I'm pretty sure at one point I brought the blue plate home. I'm almost 100% certain. Because I've, I've gone down this road before. 
many a times. So I'm going to have to look for the blue plate, and I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Yeah, the blue plate, I don't even know. I think it came with the blue plate, to tell you the truth. We'll try the blue plate. I thought we, I thought we tried it. Wait, is it up here? I could have sworn that we tried the blue plate at one point, and it didn't work. What's this? That's another Cuddlebug platform. Yeah, no, I don't. No, I found another. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to try it. I know I saw the blue plate not that long ago, so we'll have to try it. I'm not sure. Michelle Rainey was going to use a um um Michelle Rainey. Did I tell you guys our dear sweet Michelle Rainey when she first came into British and Row, she told us she was gonna use a rolling pin. She said she was going to use a rolling pin for her die cutting. And she left, we told her the story. And she left the store. Because we told her when she was there, we said, yeah, you can try that. You can, you can try that. And then as soon as she left, um, we said, she'll be back. <laughs> we said, Michael and I both looked at each other as she walked out. And we said, she's going to be back. She'll be back. Yes, and the web says to use it with folders too. Okay, so I'm going to have to find that blue plate. I know I have a million of them at the store. But I'm going to find that blue plate, and we're going to try it. Because I don't – I feel like at one point I tried, excuse me, to use the blue plate, and something went terribly wrong. I think it was, like, too thick or something. I don't know. She said it was a simple die cut. It worked, sort of. Well, listen. You tried, and that's all we can ask, right? That is all we can ask. That is all that we can ask. All right. So that is all that I have for y'all tonight. Oh, my goodness. So many of those trucks are gone, gone, gone. So I'm going to uh, call tomorrow and see if we can't get more of uh, quite a few of these items. Um, but I'm going to get that blue plate. We're going to try it. Um, yeah, we use what, yeah, you got to use what you got, right? Um, so that's everything that I have for you guys tonight. I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I'm so, oh, wait, hold on, wait, above message. Wait, she said the sandwich. Let me see, hold on, let me go back up. Hold on, hold on. Uh, what is your, uh, try platform plus folder plus rubber mat plus cutting plate. Okay. See, I'm going to have to look because I know we have a whole bunch of Fun Stampers Journeys versions at, um, at Brutus Renault because they were on sale for like 20 bucks or something. So I bought, I think, five of them or six of them. We have a whole bunch of them at the store that aren't even out of their boxes um, that we're going to use for the classroom. I have to look at that plate because I feel like that plate said something different. But it's the same machine, just a different color. So I'm going to have to look. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look because I feel like something is not. Oh, yours is the fun sandwich journey one? Okay. Yeah. No, I think they, were they 20? No, I think they were. They might have been 20. Or maybe they were 40. Heather Collins, do you remember how much they were? I think they were like 40 bucks or something. I think they were 40. Um. Yeah, Rose, I'm going to have to look. Maybe they were 40. I remember them being so inexpensive. And then the crazy thing is they were um I hurried up and I hurried up and ordered a whole bunch of them and then they like doubled the price. Yeah. All right. So that's oh 30 bucks. That was it. Um no, yeah, it was the platinum. Yeah, it wasn't was it this size? It was this size, I think. Was it this size? Yeah. Platinum six. I think it's this size. No, maybe not. I think it was this size. I can't remember. I can't remember if they were this. I think they're this size. I have to look. But yeah, they were super, super inexpensive. So, all right. Well, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for being a part of my life. I adore each and every one of you. 
Um, tomorrow we will be back, and I think we're using the stencil of the month. I have to look at um, were they mispriced? I don't know. I know it was during like their giant crazy sale. It was during they were having a sale already. Um, so that's all I have for you tonight. Oh, thank you, Candy. I'm super excited because uh, we are going to be using the stencil of the month tomorrow, and we have lots of um, fun things uh, to do tomorrow. Thank you all so much for uh, grabbing your uh, dies and your embossing force, and I can't wait to see what you make with them. And um, we have a special surprise coming uh, very soon. I can't tell you about it yet, but uh, something that you all have been asking for for a while uh, is coming to Brutus and Rose. So Keep your eyes peeled and don't worry. Um, make sure, just make sure to always check the new category uh, every day if you can, because there's always something, uh, something getting slipped in, and hopefully um, they don't sell out too quick. So thank you all so much. Love you all to pieces. Remember to create something every single day, whether that is your own little red truck or your own ending. I appreciate y'all more than you will ever know. Oh, you need to. I'll have to scroll up, Rose. The, the comments go by so quick because you guys only see like one eighth of the comments that come in and they go da, 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 up on my screen. So thank you all. I will see you soon. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. I love you all to pieces and good night.